Hey, good morning, guys. This is Jimmy from Primer is Best. I'm out here at this 1966 uh, Chevy C10 truck, Almond Joy. And uh, I have a friend of mine. Actually, it's the guy that my 1984 Chevy C10... I'm looking at these glue traps to see if I've caught anything big like a mouse. Uh, no. Bugs, but no mices. Anyway, uh, what I my friend that's coming over here, my 1984 C10 truck left turn bill. He's the guy that sold me the motor for it, the, the 350. Of course, I mean, my friend Brian, GM1038 on YouTube, he re, you know, freshened it up, you know, put another cam and all that kind of stuff in it. And uh, I'm at the this this thing has an electric fuel pump if you didn't know so i'm gonna let it run for just a minute get fuel up to it. it's been a while since i've started this truck but uh he's he's gonna bring his dad over to look at this truck just to look at it and i'm gonna be looking at his uh dune buggy so i'm hoping this will be a, a great uh great time i don't recall ever meeting his dad and I'm pretty sure I probably won't be showing my friend or his dad in the video. I'm just going to let his dad look at this truck. He watches my videos. And uh, so I'm going to let him look at this truck. And I'm going to be doing a video on his doom buggy. So it should be a lot of fun. Should be. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's been a long time since I started this truck. Anyway, uh, I, I really do like this old truck a lot. It's uh, if you're new to the channel, if you, oh, if you hear something pinging, it's the this metal building I'm in, this metal garage building. I've got acorns just flying off the truck. Not well. Let me say it again. I don't want to lie about anything. They're falling out of the trees. There's a bunch of squirrels here and. Uh, after the acorns so you'll probably see a few in the video probably anyway so if you hear the pinging i didn't want y'all to think somebody's shooting at me <laughs> at least not yet so uh i'll back this out they'll be here and just let me pause this guys i don't want to hit anything okay i got it out in one piece i'm always afraid if i'm not paying attention real close I'm gonna hit this truck the cat eye truck or uh, or something I'm always afraid of that plus I was afraid if I heard a ping on this truck I'd be <laughs> jumping so uh yeah uh, if you're new to the channel this is it it's a 66 Chevy C10 truck sitting on a 72 C10 truck frame just real quick they'll be here in just a minute but if you are new to the channel I sure would wish and hope and that you would subscribe to the channel Primer is best. That's what you're watching. I got a second YouTube channel, Man on a Budget, too. So if you'd like to subscribe to both, you won't miss nothing. And hopefully I won't bore you so so much that, uh, you know, you don't want to subscribe. We're trying to get subscribers to both our channels. And, uh, you know, if you would subscribe. Oh, please, if you subscribe, please leave a comment and let me know that you subscribed. I'd like to congratulate you and thank you, you know. You know in the comment section that you know and thank you for subscribing okay uh, you know I'm, my point is i'm grateful so uh yeah this is the 350 it's out of a 92 chevy uh truck motor my friend gm1038 on youtube check him out gm1038 his name is brian him and his dad uh you know done all the mechanic work stuff and put the wheels and tires on it and of course i had to buy the wheels and tires and uh hear that banging and I'm afraid if I get under it, it might knock me out one of those acorns but uh anyway they've done a whole bunch to this truck oh my goodness and I want to thank my buddy uh, Tim Dixon at Gas X Chop Shop for all the metal work he's done and you're probably looking at it going Jimmy what metal work what did he do <laughs> when you're looking at it I'm into patina style okay 
So I done all this myself. We rattle can painted it real quick. Rattle can paint it, put penetrol on it to make it look like it's got a clear coat. Tim done all this patchwork, rockers, cab corners, patched everything on this old truck. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of some more places. Tim's so good, it's hard to spot the weld scars. I'll be honest with you. Uh, Tim done a hit. Tim and Waylon done a bang up job on this truck. Meaning good. Meaning good. Fix the door. Uh, you know, like I said, cab corners, rockers, all that kind of stuff. I guess I could let the truck air out a little bit, even though I like that old smell. <laughs> it's in here. Uh, and once again, these trucks are notorious for rusting out right there. Uh, so I leave the well scars so, so one day if someone else winds up with this truck, if they want to patch it or put Bondo or what, you know, or just change the whole color or just change everything about the truck, they know what they're getting into. I don't lie about nothing. So, you know, it's, that's just how I am. I, I, I'd rather... Any of my trucks that ever wind up at new homes, I mean, I don't ever care if I sell them or not. It's just, you know, if you want it for, what you know, whatever I price it at, if you want it, okay. If not, it's no big deal. They're not eating anything. Or <laughs> haven't noticed them eating anything. I hadn't heard no crunching. They're not eating acorns, that's for sure. So, uh, I'll pause this here, guys, and uh, they'll be here in just a minute, and uh, I'll get back with you, okay? We'll see what he's got. It should be a fun day today. Hang on, guys. Hey, pretty cool, huh? Uh, as far as I know, this is a running gear out of a 65 Volkswagen. What they do is they take the body off and they shorten them like 16 inches and then set this uh, fiberglass body back on them. The engine I know pretty much for sure is a 74. Uh, How many horsepower is it? Uh, it's like 65 horsepower. It's just all stock, 1600 cc. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah. Let's look at the wheels. They were they were on it when I bought it, so. And my son buffed them out for me just recently, so they, they turned out good. I actually I actually painted those centers, the gray part. actually uh, taped it all up and painted them a couple of years ago. That which, looks good. It looks which was fun good. doing all that taping. <laughs> yeah. I want to show you. These tires are, uh, I'm going to find the size here in a second, guys. I think they're 1250-33s. Okay, 1250-33s. And what are the fronts? Uh, that do I you, don't do know. You remember? They're 14-inch. The back ones are 15s, and these are 14s. I think they're 205. Yeah, 205, 75, 14s. So I'm going to stand back here for just a second and let y'all see the whole thing. But isn't that just cool? And I was telling this young man here that owns the the Baja here, that uh, the dune buggy, I'm sorry, we was talking about my Baja, but uh, that I used to want one of these back in the, back in, when I was younger. I wanted one of these, and I kept promising myself when I get a job mowing yards and all that stuff that I was going to get me one of these. Of course, I never did. Uh, sometimes life gets in the way, and eh, you know how it goes. Let's look at the inside. I, I think quick. I bought it in uh, 1988. I think I paid 1300 for it. 1300 Can you believe that? $1,300. You like my steering wheel? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you something else I like. I like those foot pedals. Now, see, I got that little foot from the dimmer switch on my 66. I need to get the big foot, the gas pedal, and check out those... <laughs> <laughs> Clutch pads and brake pads. Isn't yeah, that my cool? My son bought me them. That's cool. He, him and, and, and my wife bought the top for it just recently, about a year ago. This is really nice. I painted nice. it about 25 years ago. It really needs painting again. but It looks good to me. I like it. Got the back seat. Here's the top he was talking about. Of course, it's got a windshield, mirrors. I mean, it's street legal. Yep. Yeah, it's all legal. It's just registered as a Volkswagen, the way it's registered. Okay. And if you didn't know it, guys, we live in East Tennessee. So, just to let you know, we'll look at the front here. That's just really cool. I, I'm liking this. 
I don't know, might have to do some trading, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's just so that's cool. That's the gas tank. Yeah, that's the gas tank. <laughs> that's cool, ain't it? Yeah. But yeah, it reminds me so much of my Baja back in the day, the instrument cluster and all that kind of stuff. These wheels really make it. I, I, I'd like to have a set of these wheels to put on a C10. I, I do, I've always liked them, and I was going to get... You know how you are when you're young, and you think, well, I'm going to get this yeah, and this yeah. and all that kind of stuff. But the gray part on them was kind of rusted up and looked bad and everything, so I try, I thought I'd try painting them and just painted them with wheel paint, Chevrolet wheel paint. Well, it looks good. It turned out pretty good. It looks real good. There's the battery. Yeah. Uh, that's that's yeah, just it's like on changing it, you got to take the tire off and everything to get to it. <laughs> my my battery on my Baja, it was all rusted out, and I, I think I had a piece of wood and some more stuff trying to hold it up. But it's just really cool. This thing sounds good. I was want. I, I think I'll I got take it. Your ride if you want to. Oh no, I. <laughs> I'd be afraid. I might freak out a little bit. But check out this engine. How clean. It, it, this is just clean. That, this, oh. <laughs> Every time I look at this thing, I see something else. I mean, it's just cool. I had these same tail lights in my 65 Baja. I, I miss yeah, that those Baja. Are Volkswagen tail lights. Yeah. I miss my old Baja, but like I was telling this young man here that owns this, that uh, mine tried to kill me two or three times. Uh, I don't know if his the German made, you know, something trying to kill all us Americans or what, I don't know. But anyway, no, I'm just joking around. I had a little pinhole in my brake line that runs up through the hump there and uh, had a little pinhole, my, lost all my brake fluid and uh, about wrecked into a building. Just barely missed it by about that much. And then uh, my steering, uh, what do we call that, knuckle? No, steering, uh, the little rubber thing for your steering column, steering rod. Well, it, it broke. Coupler. Coupler, yeah, thank you. Sometimes I'm at a loss for words. It broke on me, and uh, i just come out of driving in the mountains, and if I'd have been up there, I'd still be up there dead somewhere. But uh, these things are fun, though, and they sound so good, and they're just so cool, and they're, they're actually good on gas. I really like it. Really like it. I think I've put... I looked the other day, I put 19,000 miles on it in 36 years. So. Have, you, have you had much trouble out of it? I mean, did it no, ever break just, down just on you? just a little stuff. Yeah, it, it has laid down on me a time or two, just simple things, you know. Yeah. Uh, the throttle cable gave me a lot of trouble until I, oh, until I went and got, I made me one out of yeah. regular cable that won't yeah. break. The ones yeah. that come with it are just like a piece of wire. That's funny you mentioned that. I, I was always replacing my clutch cable and the throttle cable. I made cable. one of those, too, that yeah. won't break. I, if I went anywhere in my Baja, in the glove box, or somewhere in the car, the Baja, I'd have a clutch cable and a throttle yeah. cable because yeah. they were bad to break. And I've been on the side of the road replacing one with the other, seemed like often, and I never could figure out why it was doing that. But I'll tell you a little story I probably shouldn't tell on here, but... Uh, my Baja, the, the clutch cable broke once, and uh, I was trying to put it in, and for some reason, I'd stick it through. The, if you've had a Volkswagen, you know exactly what uh, we're talking about, but uh, I had trouble getting it to go through, and so I used to have a little bit of a temper, just a little, <laughs> not real bad, but uh, my ex-wife at the time, well, I'm sorry, we were married. She come out the door, and she seen me. I had the door open on it. And I had the bottom of the Volkswagen, and uh, I was so mad at it. I was going to turn it up on its top because I was so mad at it. And she said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm fixing to kill this Volkswagen. I said, it won't cooperate. I, you know, I, I probably shouldn't be telling you all that. But anyway, uh, she went back to the house, which was a wise decision, I guess. She didn't want to be a part of anybody looking at me in the neighborhood. Anyway, I didn't have enough strength to turn it over, but I gave it all I had. I couldn't turn that thing <laughs> over. It's silly now to talk about. I might have to edit that part out. Anyway, uh, yeah. Well, th this one's light. Oh, my goodness. Well, I got to tell you, everybody, my, this, this young man here, 
and like I said, I used to work with his son and my good friend, his brother. They're really strong people. I, I couldn't do that, but I'm just letting you know. When I, when I worked with his son at work every night, I was just telling him 12 hour uh, days, uh, I'm sorry, 12 hour night shift, six till 6.30 or whatever in the morning. Uh, I always felt secure when I was around him because if, uh, you know, if somebody said something or something, he always had my back and, uh, and uh, he was really strong. Anyway, I, I'll end the video here, guys. Let me know what you think about this. Isn't this just cool? I, I just really like this thing. It's so cool. The top looks great. I'd, I'd love to have this and it, and it be paid for. But it's just cool. It brings reminiscent of my Baja I had years ago. Yeah, 60. both my sons learned to drive. That's what they learned to drive in. No put, kidding. Put, put them out in the field and, yeah. and, and let them go. Well, I didn't know that. That's cool. <laughs> a lot of good memories here, and I'm sure it's uh, pretty sure it's not for sale. So don't. No. <laughs> no, I thought I'd get that out of the way. But guys, you're walking, watching a uh, primer is best. My name is Jimmy, and I, I hope you enjoyed this video because I, I sure did enjoy making it and walking around it. This is my first time to see it as well, so it's a pretty cool vehicle. And let me know if you've ever had one or dreamt of having one. You know, some people, you know, get their dream vehicles and this has always been one of mine i haven't had one yet but i thank you for watching i'm also on facebook primate is best instagram primate is best i got a second youtube channel called man on a budget and i'm on instagram man on a budget one and uh this thing is just cool i can't get over looking at it y'all let me know if you like this kind of stuff and if you do uh maybe i can do some more videos on it one day y'all have a blessed day god bless y'all and uh please like subscribe give me a thumbs up isn't god great God is awesome. What a beautiful day. And I have some great friends here with me today. Y'all stay safe. God bless y'all. Catch you in the next one, guys. I'll see y'all later. Isn't that a cool little ride, guys? Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. God bless you. See you later.